Paws in the City has become one of the largest and most important animal rescue groups in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Year after year, Paws in the City has seen an increase in community involvement through the number of volunteers, financial support, and, most importantly, the number of animal lives saved. Committed to ending the abuse, neglect, and overpopulation of Dallas area dogs and cats, Paws in the City volunteers work towards the goal of finding every pet a loving home. Whether surrendered or born as a stray, many animals find themselves here at the Dallas Municipal Animal Shelter. Due to overwhelming numbers, it's hard to find healthy animals a home and even more difficult for the ill, injured, and abused. I have a, a great respect for the Paws in the City. They're a great rescue organization. Probably one of my biggest uh, groups that pull from us from here at D DAS and uh, I can always rely on them. They're not gonna let them be euthanized and they will do whatever it takes to, to, to make sure that that doesn't happen. For animals that are too ill, but that can survive with treatment, the Paws in the City Foster Program gives them more time for adoption. We're an all-volunteer group and this is our passion. And what makes us so special is every dime that is donated goes to the dogs or cats. Paws in the City's biggest expense is medical. Since we do, we do treat everything from heartworm and we also obviously spay and neuter our dogs and cats as well. The public can help our organization by either volunteering, donating, or fostering a dog or cat. That's the most important thing we can do because every dog that we can get out of Dallas Animal Services is another dog that we can save. Cagney and Lacey, two loving German shepherds at the Dallas Animal Shelter, were set to be euthanized due to heartworms. Paws rescued them and then it became clear that they had more medical issues. Both were diagnosed with pneumonia, and Lacey's advanced case landed her at a specialist. At that point, the cost of treatment was in the thousands. In situations like this, where an animal in paws care needs extreme help, they take action to obtain additional funds donated specifically for that animal's situation. Cagney and Lacey were both adopted separately, and Cagney is now being trained to be a medical alert dog to assist her new human companion of impending seizures. Like Cagney and Lacey, all Paws animals come with their own unique journey. Paws rescued all these mama dogs and their puppies who were to be euthanized by the city shelter because no other rescue group wanted to save them. Young puppies and kittens tend to get sick at a city shelter with no immune system in place, but for Cinnamon and her puppies, an anonymous donor funded their medical treatment and boarding. And through email pleas for donations, Paws raised money to pay vet expenses for the others. Rose, a pregnant mother, was left at the Dallas Animal Shelter and went into labor one day after Paws rescued her. She had complications and was rushed to the emergency vet for a C-section. Sadly, Rose came down with an upper respiratory infection and passed it on to her kittens. Two of the kittens survived thanks to Paws' efforts to treat them. They've been healthy the last two or three weeks have made a huge difference. Um, Rose is a remarkable mother and has done a great job as well as the foster. The CAP program has recently expanded. In the last eight to 10 months, um, we've been able to pull quite a few, a significant number from the city shelter and place them directly into foster homes. The city of Dallas has many beautiful social kitties that unfortunately don't make adoption due to the overwhelming numbers and Paws in the City comes in and rescues them due to medical issues that are treatable and um, would otherwise, they would be euthanized. These kitties would not be here without the foster people. There are so many incredible stories of rescue, treatment, and adoption. Bobo was rescued by Paws and treated for a severe case of distemper, heartworm, and mange. Carly, a lab puppy left at the city shelter, had a badly mangled leg that needed to be amputated. Paws stepped in and provided her with the necessary medical care. She now lives with a family and is doing great. Homer the kitten was blinded from an eye injury and needed surgery, which Paws provided. And special stories like Grace, a stray found exhausted and disfigured. Grace had been doused with either boiling water or acid. 
Her picture and story were posted on Facebook, and within minutes, donations from ten to hundreds of dollars poured in, some from as far away as South Dakota. Despite her disfigurement, she was adopted at her first adoption event. These stories are just a microcosm of what Paws in the City is all about. People coming together whenever an animal needs help. Paws in the City is making a difference, one animal at a time. We're only limited by our financial resources. 100% of your donations goes directly to help dogs and cats, whether it's for medical treatment, to board a dog when a foster home cannot be found, to train a dog to make him more adoptable, to pay for heartworm treatment, or to spay and neuter, which is key to ending our community's pet overpopulation problem. While we are making strides, we've still got a long way to go. And with your support, we can win this battle. And I will wait for you to take my hand.